Tell the audience a little bit more about yourself for those who might not know your fantastic work as a soul singer in New York City. Where did you grow up? So I grew up in Washington, D.C. And uh, I went to high school, the Performing Arts, Duke Ellington School of the Arts, where I studied theater and music. And uh, I moved to New York in the early 90s, 93. And it's been a hell of a ride. Wow, 93 in New York. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It's a great time. What was that like for you first arriving in New York in 93? It was really phenomenal for me because you would walk down the street and you would see Lee Bowery and Lady Kier from Delight on St. Mark's. And uh, I just, I feel like I was at the end of a really great era in New York, you know, with the club kids and, you know, Boy Bar and all those amazing places that you, you only dream about now. Were you always inspired uh, by these artists and by, by soul artists, or did that come as you started studying music more and as you moved to New York? My taste in music always evolves. Um, I started out early uh, listening to a lot of Streisand and Shirley Bassey and uh, Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald because my mother had a track tapes and I was really immersed in her collection. She had great taste in music. And then when I went to Duke Ellington School of Performing Arts, I learned a lot about gospel and even more jazz. And uh, my, the first show I ever saw when I was six years old was this show called Hippie Tombi. And it was all, it's all African music. So my first concert was, a, you know, a, a concert of African dancers. They were naked and it was just phenomenal. I even have the soundtrack. It's really great. So my, my taste in music really varies. I love music. So the diversity really speaks to a lot of what you perform and um, what I came to know you as through the community and through social media and a lot of um, what I saw of people posting of you before I knew you was your amazing vocals. Thank you. Powerhouse soul vocals. Um, And I think, and we've spoken about this, but it must be somewhat about studying those greats that you were able to channel your passion for singing like that. Because, you know, it's it's more than just singing. It's really um, a connection, a spiritual connection, an emotional connection with the music. Yeah, I think the people that inspire you, you learn from them and you try to emulate them and then you come up with your own your own voice and hopefully people identify you and as your own voice because you know there's so many voices out there but it's great when people say you know i listened to a song today and i knew it was a kobe cole song yeah you've been acting different i've been told suit me i want some sugar in my bowl I want some sugar in my bowl I ain't fooling them I want some sugar In my bowl Tell me a little bit more about um, how you started performing in New York City and what that experience was like. So when I first moved to New York, I I sang in a lot of downtown places. I sang at the Boy Bar, which was really great. They had an open mic there. Lady Bunny was the hostess at the Crow Bar on 10th Street. Remember the Crow Bar on 10th Street? Yeah. I'm a little older than you. Uh, It was owned by the same people that opened Barracuda later on because Crow Bar was so successful. Uh, Lena was the uh, DJ and Gant Donson and um, Chip Duckett and uh, Austin Downey, you know, all these legendary New Yorkers who we love. Uh, Candace Kane was performing there. Mona Foote did Star Search, the original place. So it was a really great place. And I think my first performance in New York was there. And believe it or not, I did this cover of God Bless a Child by Billie Holiday, but I, I did it over an R&B track and there were people there from Paris. And they loved it so much that they gave me money to record the demo. My goodness. Yeah. That's like that and New I York dream it. story. That's It fantastic. was amazing, yeah. They, I, they paid for the demo which was phenomenal. Wonderful. Um, We'll play a little bit of that for the audience now. Okay. 